Well, you know, our college seniors are once again getting ready to enter the workforce, this time during a pandemic. Their biggest question, are there going to be the jobs out there for them? Well, KWW reporter Danny Miskell today talking with a University of Northern Iowa professor as well as a graduating UNI senior. Danny, what do they have to say? Ron, they said the pandemic has caused many shifts in the workforce, but this isn't UNI's first time handling conversations about what those changes will look like for graduates. We've been through economic downturns before and we have experience counseling students about how to go into the job market in a downturn. Virtual job interviews will just be the beginning. Professor Peter says students have been acclimating to virtual meetings and doing remote internships during this last year. Thinking about how Zoom has changed things and, and how a Zoom interview might look like. That reflects what the actual workforce has shifted to during the pandemic, which is why Peters is focused on making sure graduates feel secure and ready. Help them see that they are prepared, help them think about how to sell themselves and their skills that they're developing. Keep their focus on as much as possible on the kinds of skills that will make them marketable. Emily Loomis is about to graduate with a political science major and move on to law school. She feels she's prepared to move on during this pandemic. But I think that I'm still certainly equipped to, to be successful in law school and then in the future workforce. Other seniors feeling a different sense of certainty going straight into the workforce. I think that kind of the general consensus is there may be jobs available. Um, they It just might take a little bit longer to find the one that you get accepted for just because of increased um, competitiveness in, in the job market right now. With graduation around the corner, Loomis has a message for her fellow graduates. To just take a take a step back from finals and, and recognize that, that you're doing it. You know, you're doing the thing that you set out to do and, and that in and of itself is a monumental accomplishment. Um, and you should feel very, very proud of that. And Loomis will attend law school in Texas. She feels the job market is pretty stable right now for her profession, even over the next three years. Ron? Yeah, Danny, thank you very much. Thanks, Emily, too. Best of luck to her. You and I's graduation ceremonies this year will be held next Friday and Saturday, and we're going to take a look at what those ceremonies are going to look like on the UNI campus. That'll take place on the KWWL News for you next Monday, so tune in for that.